Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's up folks, it's Son of Beast and me phone here. This is another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This next matchup I'm about to send you over as we are ready for another face-off becoming. It's in between of the game four matches as right now there's only two more games in the first day as we got the Boston Bruins facing against the Washington Capitals. Three games on a roll for the Boston Bruins, but the Washington Capitals needs to find an answer if they can get it back in. Now here's the question, can they make the win over the Bruins or will the Bruins end their run for the Washington Capitals and move on to the next round to face against the winning team. There's a questionable chance and there's another way they can try to answer that to slow down the mark. We'll find out what happens if there's a choice in between, right under those two, of the American team, between the wildcard team and the first seed team in the Atlanta. Now let's see what happens. Lindgren and Swayman are your starting goaltenders for tonight. Now let's send you down to Capital One Arena, standing by is James Zabelski, along with Cheryl and Kara will be sending him by. We'll see you all later for the post game show. Enjoy the game tonight guys, let's roll. Thank you. 
gets in front of it and it's safe. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Kiki's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Tosses it to Frederick. Takes the feed. The Bruins will play for the defensive zone. Battle along the wall. Good pass to Hyden. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. And he makes the save. Moves it to Protus. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Drives to the paint. Fantastic save. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bears his team out. Play. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. The Bruins take possession off the face-off. Takes the pass. The Bruins are across the line and into the offensive end. The play is under review for a goaltender interference. I guess it's going to be a close call over here. Or wow, that might be the interference over there. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. The I'll do a visual over here. We have to determine if the if the goal if, if the player has come into a goal interference. No goal. Move the puck in the defensive zone. 
Assisted here by number 32, Rowan Hickey, and by number 39, Dylan Hyden. Time to goal, 16 16 remaining in the third, first period of the game. That's a goal here by Trent Frederick, assisted by Miguel Nicole Hickey, and Dylan Hyden. 16 16 in the first period of the playoffs. Great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. 
through the first period here, James. I just want to wind it down and make sure they head to intermission with that two-goal lead. It's all about just one minute remaining in the first period again. Lost the goal. It is 30 for the goal in the playoffs. 124. 12 by number 74. Chip the Bucks. Hayes versus the hero by number 28. Avails on top. Top of the goal. 18.50 remaining in the first period. About to take the Russell's goal. This is the fight with Bell Taka. 18.50 in the first period of the playoffs. Five minute penalty, two minutes for Washington. Five minutes for Washington for fighting. Five minute penalty for Boston for fighting. And you're a winner. It creates a ton of momentum. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. The Bruins are. Penalty for Washington Governors. Five minutes for fighting. And for the Boston Bruins, a five minute fight. Time and penalty of 1943 remaining in the first period. That's five minute fighting for Boston and five minute fighting for Washington Capitals. Time and ability 1943 remaining in the first period. everyone, Wood Spooner here, and right now for the next part of the game, it's really going to be a lot of hard takings and the pressure, but you'll be finding it here for the next game. The next part of the game matchups, as we're ready to head you down, down into day number two, will be all for anybody, as we have the next matchup in between the range of the Eastern and Western Conference. This next battle of the matchup, we've got a great one to take here, as we got a first look of appearance in the Eastern Conference. First up starts here for the Hurricanes, first facing against the Flyers at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. The Hurricanes have already swept three games in a row, but will this be the uh, comeback switch for the Flyers? Then following along with the next game, we have is the Toronto Maple Leafs facing against the Florida Panthers at Scotia Bank Arena. Here at, for, for, for another part of the game, uh, we'll be having at 3 p.m. That shot. And then, Tonight's game is a matchup in here at Bridgestone Arena. Final at 8 p.m. will be the Nashville Predators facing against the Dallas Stars at Bridgestone Arena. And finally, the last game at 10.30 will be the Canucks versus the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. Now we the part of the next game underway to have that one coming in face-to-face -face from the attackers. That's all for now, folks. Let's get back into the action for period two. 2-0 two is where Boston sat. Let's have a look in between for the next one. Guys, all yours. Put Spurney out. Got the puck. The Bruins take possession of the defensive end. 
The Bruins continue to be the more active team here early in the second, and they lead as a result. Boston's going to hold on the puck. Handles the pass. And Reemstein's taking it from his own end. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Handles the pass at center. The Bruins carry it along the wall. Here's a chance. What a block of stop and pop by Greenstein and Ingram. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's a 2 nothing hockey game. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Cronus moves the puck. Washington's on the attack. Makes it look easy to the club. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Washington's won it. Now they'll throw on the attack. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Washington's got it now. That goes wide. Heading up along the boards. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Puts an open space at center. They go on the attack through center. Quick shot. Big time stop. Lindbergh's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Tries to feed it over to Shattenkirk. The Bruins played along the boards. Washington's got a hold of it along the wall. The Bruins have it in the offensive zone. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Lindbergh's save percentage has been excellent. He's doing everything to stand tall on the crease. Now it's time for his team to start playing for him. They got to get going north, but the first thing they need to do is to cheer the puck and stop chasing the game. Puck picked up by Edmondson. Game momentum up along the side. To the left side. Oh, stick save to the few. Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the pass and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Coyle has got the puck in his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Big hit that frees up possession. Washington's got it in the offensive zone. Nowhere for that shot to go through. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up speed. Take shot for Mark. The Cowboys gain control of the puck. Okay, Cabellas gaining momentum. Dunks the puck in. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Takes the feed. Takes a shot. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Slides it diagonally to the Leno. The Capitals are on the attack. Here's a shot. Blocked in traffic. Cuts up possession of the puck. Carlos got it behind his own net. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Quick pass to LaPierre. He carries the puck up along the way. Good stand up hit on the play. And he hangs on to the puck. It's 
Capitals go! His first goal of the playoffs. So his first goal to play a score by number 43, Tom Wilson. He is first assisted here by number 24, and here by number 29, and Hendrick Lapiri. And by number 24, Richard Sidney. Tom will 16-16 remaining in the, first, in the second period. That's Tom Wilson's goal along with Hendrick Lapiri and Richard Sidney. 16-16 in the playoffs. That's goal! It's first goal of the playoffs. Two by number 29, Hendrick Lopin! Is Mr. Sissy here by number 29, Joel Edmondson. Time of the goal. 18, 49 remaining in the second. That's Hendrick Lapierre with the goal. Assisted here by Joel Edmondson. Four, yeah. 17, 18, 49 in the second period, in the playoffs. One minute remaining in the second period of the game in the playoffs. I'll see you in the second period. The score here for the second, second air mission. Three for Bruins and three for Capitals. Capitals goal! His first goal of the playoffs scored by number 21, Alexei Protoss. His first assisted here by number 48, Anthony Meffa. And assisted here by number 28, Connor McMichael. Time to go, 1945 remaining in the third period. That's Alexei. That's Alexei's Portos goal, assisted here by, uh, by Anthony Mepha and Rick Michael, 1945.
Here, here in this third period. Now, buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They're going to get the ball. Ball single. The playoffs go by number 88, David Crossjocks. The ace was to be here by number 28, Charlie Cook. Time to go 6 13, remaining in third. That's David Crossjocks with the goal, assisted here by Charlie Cook. 6 13 in the third period of the playoffs. Lindgren 
Good pass to Heinen. Taking up momentum inside the control zone. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. You gotta find a way to make a good pass decision. Get it in deep. Don't give up anything offensively. Puck dumped in. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Boston's got a hold of the puck. And now he angles it across to Kiki. Oh, I thought he was going to be beat, and he somehow got a piece of that. Washington's got the puck along the wall. Here they come all out the wing. What a steal on his own end. Carlos moving the puck through his own zone. Moves around on the half wall. Oh, good work with the stick and comes up with the puck. One minute remaining in the third period in the playoffs. Second goal, the playoffs score by number 88, David Foster. This was assisted here by number 28, Carter Tony Porter. Tom and the empty goal, 1944, Jamie That's David Foster's score along with assisted by Charlie Porter, 1944. That's the end of the game. Final score 5 for the Bruins and 3 for Capitals. Fans, thank you so much for coming here for tonight's game, and we hope we'll see you all. Next season of the year for the Capitals of 2024 to 2025. Get home safely, folks. Have a great night. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See ya. All right, thank you. Pavel Zaka starts off with two assistant eight hits. He only started off with a big hit. Definitely did turn out great. The second start goes to Jake DeBrus with two goals and one hit. Didn't get a hat trick this time, but he only had that one to make the assist turn out great. And your first star player of the game was Jake DeBrus. David Pasternak's was two goals and three hits. He only did great, but that's all happened. With that goal, hit the bottle, going flinging air. That's like airborne. I mean, pretty amazing. Here's how you did with the total statistics. 56 over 49 for the Boston Bruins over the Capitals. 54 over 49 for Boston on the hit. And it was 638 over 547 for the Boston Bruins. 90% over 88 for Washington Capitals for the passing percentage. 23 over 20 for the Boston Bruins. 7 minute penalty kill over 5 minute penalty kill for, for the Boston Bruins. Then it was no power play goal and only had 2 minutes in the power play minute. And that's it. That means the Boston Bruins move on to the next round. Yeah, it's definitely the face-off, the fact. Washington Capitals trained really hard. They tried to do their best, but unfortunately, sadly enough, it's already over. Well, until next season, we'll be better if they get back in. So that is it for now. Washington Capitals are eliminated in the first round. The Boston Bruins are in the second round to face against the winning team in a second round. In between of his own by the Leafs or the Florida Scar sorry, um actually yeah. The Florida Panthers and or the Maple Leafs. That will be one of each in between, so we'll find out what goes in. And with that being said, is if you're all tuning in for the last part of the game, we got you up here shortly. The Edmonton Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights are underway soon. Peace out folks. And for us a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style.
This is Sun of Beast and Vifo. Thanks for joining in and have a wonderful night in the District of Columbia in Washington, D.C. along with Boston. Take care, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.